Curious to learn more about this beautiful palace? Stay with me and after the intro we'll discover its features. Hi everyone, this is Alessandro, welcome back to Exploring Art. Today we are going to look at the architecture evolution of the Baroque style in Spain with the Palace of San Telmo or Palacio de San Telmo. If you missed the introductory video about Baroque and its features, don't worry, you can find the link in the description below and I suggest you to watch this series from the beginning so you can appreciate and understand better this beautiful style. The Palace of San Telmo is an historical edifice in Seville, southern Spain, formerly the University for Navigators. Now is the seat of the Presidency of the Andalusian Autonomous Government and it was named after San Telmo, who is the patron saint of sailors. Construction of the building began in 1682 by the well-known local architect Leonardo de Figueroa, and it continued for three generations thanks to his son Matthias and grandson Antonio Matthias. The facade, what we are going to focus on, in fact was completed just in 1754. They wanted to be sure the result was good. Just kidding, they did a very good job thanks to the help of amazing professionals who worked also inside the palace chapel. The palace is one of the emblematic buildings of Sevillian Baroque architecture. The floor plan is simple, a rectangular shape with four towers on the corners, but inside there are many courtyards and gardens. The main entrance is for sure the element that makes the palace unique. It's an evolution of the Italian Baroque since this style arrived in Spain just at the end of the 17th century. That period of time is called Late Baroque and it goes from 1675 to 1750 and in Spain it was featured by an intense, really elaborate use of sculptural architectural ornament named Churriguresque or Ultra Baroque. We can notice the extreme use of decorations on the entryway in all the three levels. At the ground level, the door is flanked by three columns on each side, completely decorated with figures and coat of arms. Over the door, five Atlantis are supporting a beautiful balcony with a circular shape typical of Baroque. In this second level, there are three columns on each side, less decorated, but surrounded by 12 allegorical female figures representing the nautical arts and sciences. On the last level there is Saint Telmo in the middle flanked by the patron saints of the city, Saint Ferdinand and Saint Hermenegild. On this level the decorations are less intense, mostly because the attention should be on the saints and inscriptions, but we can still see how the Spanish Baroque is way richer on ornaments than the Italian Baroque. Anyway, the result is excellent and we will see the influence of the Churriguresque in particular in the Spanish colonies with many beautiful examples. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next one we are going to start a new series discovering some beautiful classical works of art. So stay curious, remember to subscribe and turn on the notifications if you haven't done it yet and see you in a few days. Ciao!